Hey, what is Caitlyn Bennett up to? That's a question we all have, right? I sure do. God, I hate watching her videos. They make me really mad. And today I want to see what she's up to, see what she's been doing, but I never watched one on my own. I always watch it through another creator because they bring me so much pain. So let's just sift through a couple things and see how long we can survive. First off, she's pregnant, <laughs> which is something I did not expect at all. I would not have written that down on my Caitlyn Bennett bingo card. And also she's like found, she's found some new found faith, which I personally think is just her being a grifter and she wants to appeal to all the Christians on the right wing. But she says that she's no longer an atheist and she's a Christian and I will respect that as truth. And I'll just pretend like she just happened to become a Christian because so many people got mad at her for being an atheist, I guess, because all those people that support her are Christian. Is this music gonna get me copyrighted? I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything about how she looks like a raw rotisserie chicken. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to get some DM that's like, you're really trying to bring down women today, aren't you? Huh? No, this, she's literally an awful person. And she pooped her pants at school, too. But she doesn't think you should have rights, most likely, if you're making that comment. So keep that in mind. I just made up an argument of someone arguing to me. No one said that yet, but every time I do this kind of stuff, people do. So I'm not doing what I always say, which is making a straw man and fighting an invisible person. I'm just saying, before I get that comment, that's my rebuttal. This whole video is just violence and her sitting there holding her pregnant baby. Who is this guy? So crusty. What is he kissing? little gremlin in there kicking around a lot of you may be shocked to hear this but for the last three years you've been watching my videos i was an atheist but that's not the case anymore and i want to open up to you guys about my journey she's like honestly i just really got into violins and so i realized that a lot of you know church music has violins and i just became a christian which is why i use violin music and everything now with worms eating my brain and the worst part was thinking i just cut to a random part in the video and she's talking about worms eating her brain constantly have okay well she talks like a preacher now so that's fun let's go to her video called simone biles is evil once upon a time athletes that Whoa. grew up in i love when you can just see the png of this news thing this unironic news graphic that is in such a low quality that you can see the pixels going down poverty or broken households were role models to children in similar circumstances circumstances. But to one prominent Olympian, she thinks children in the same shoes as she once was are she thinks children in the same shoes as she once was with are literally better off dead. This is Simone Biles. Have you heard of her? Well, if not, she's famous for flipping around in the Olympics. But the ratings were so terrible that I don't blame you if you had no idea who she was. Okay, so this is technically a roast on the Olympics that she's trying to redirect towards Simone Biles by saying the ratings are bad because she just flips around at the Olympics. You know, notice her language also saying that she flips around during the Olympics and not that, you know, she's a world class gymnast the best there probably ever was and decides instead to call it flipping around which i'm sure she wouldn't say for her redneck football players that they're just tossing a ball and running into each other on the field and giving each other concussions where they're gonna die 20 years young and have amnesia and all this crap that comes along with it you're not gonna say that about someone who you actually support politically but when it comes to simone biles she's just flipping around you know even though she's the best in the world at flipping around and the only thing that Caitlyn flips around are her beliefs when someone stops her dead in her tracks and shows her that everything she said directly contradicts with something else that is factually true. But it's neither here nor there. Also, cool baby lives matter sweatshirt. That's freaking sick. You're so cool for that. Apparently, it's not good for business to convince a generation of athletes to think they're activists. Anyway, though, Miss Biles is just so famous now that she had to let everyone know that she's not just a talented gymnast, but she also has a knack for baby murder. <laughs> Oh no, something that literally most of the country agrees with. National, 60% of Americans say that Roe v. Wade should be upheld. 
Gallup poll shows Americans' support for abortion in all or most cases at 80% in May, only slightly higher than in 1975 at 76%. Pew Research Center finds 59% of adults believe abortion should be legal compared to 60 in 1995. So hey, not that hot of a take. I think most of the people there would agree with that. She's just the only one that actually step up and be brave enough to say anything. And this is why most people don't say stuff about it because the minority decides to attack them for it. Like as if everyone's gonna go after them and be like, we're not gonna support her anymore. Even though most of us either don't think about politics when we're watching athletes do what they're good at or we agree with her because most of us agree with her. We live in a time where every person has a device in their pockets that hold infinite knowledge for free about any- She's such a boomer still. Why are you still such a boomer? Everyone knows that. This is stuff we talked about 10 years ago. Everyone has a device in their pocket that can tell you anything in the world. You can Google anything now. And yet we still have people defending and promoting the dismemberment, poisoning, and killing of tiny humans because yeah. Oh yeah, the dismemberment of tiny humans. Cool. Very, yeah. I don't even know what joke to make about that. It's just like not, just not accurate. But I'm not here to talk about abortion. I think we all, you know, are on the same page about that. I'm just here to catch up with my good friend. Libs don't know what a father is. A female, a female may want to turn, you know, go to the other side. And I feel like that we should give her the same, or he, her the same respect when she turns over. And if she wants to have a kid, we should celebrate her as a father. And she, it should be Father's Day for everyone. It shouldn't just be about gender. What is a father? Does it have to be a male? Does it have to be a man? No. Or can a father be anybody? Yeah, I view her as like my dad in a way. Can a woman be a father? Um, yes. Yeah, I definitely think so. They can? I mean, it's this is such a thing that like, why does anyone care about this? Why are you making a whole entire 17 minute video about the definition of a word? Who actually cares about this? This isn't politics. This is like English class. Then why are you trying to make the word father into a political thing? If someone wants to be a father figure for someone, I literally don't care. Why would I care? And this isn't like some strong belief I have. I just couldn't care less because it's a stupid thing to care about. <laughs> just let people do what they want. It's like, you don't have to make it into a political thing every time. I'm not even making this video as a political video. I just think that she's so dumb. Like she's just so, has so little brain cells. And I do believe that a lot of right-wing pundits do know what they're doing. Like Ben Shapiro knows that a lot of his points are bullshit, but he still does them because he makes millions of dollars a year. But for Caitlin Bennett, part of me believes that she just is really passionate about getting in arguments with people in public. And almost more than 50% of the time, the person arguing with her is like actually holding their ground. And she decides that they should still edit it and post it. And I'm like, why don't you just post the ones where you like own someone who doesn't really know what they're talking about? Because there are people out there who would stand for something like this and not really have anything to back it up. This isn't their job like it is for Caitlin Bennett. But she still posts the ones for people that have good arguments. And who cares what the word father means? I don't care if it says that it has to be a male parent or a man then okay does it change anything about the world if someone's like well i think a woman can be a father you know in my head i think of a father as someone who identifies as a man taking care of somebody and i don't know if she's confusing that with like the argument that like people who identify as women can be called fathers it's like a weird middle area where caitlin doesn't really know what she's arguing are you arguing that trans men can't be called fathers or are you arguing that that cis women can't be fathers. Like what, I don't understand what she's going for. Welcome to my- Dems get mad that I cook for my husband. Kitchen guys, where today we're gonna be cooking up some liberal tears. I'm- Ah, 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 classic joke. That classic original joke about liberal tears that is so rooted in policy and actual issues. I've done it again, guys. The libs are mad at me. And why? Because I like cooking for my husband. So I think what this video is going to be about is my prediction is that she's like, Dems get mad that I cook for my husband. And she thinks people are mad because she's taking on like a traditional, you know, role of a wife in the household, I guess, by cooking for someone. But I think what people actually were making fun of her for was that her cooking looked like shit. But she's trying to twist that and be like, they're mad that I'm a woman who cooks and that's not allowed anymore. Like, no, I think that's fine. Who cares? Who literally cares at all? But I think people are making fun of her because her food looks like crap. You know what makes me feel the most 
empowered as a woman, it's not getting an abortion or rapping about WAP. It's being a good housewife and cooking for my husband. And boy, did the left go crazy. Well, I don't think they got mad because you said it's being a good housewife and cooking for my husband, as weird as that is. I think the sentence, I'm being a good housewife and cooking for my husband is like weirdly like dominant on the side of the husband where someone's like, I'm just being a good housewife and cooking for my husband. But most of it's the fact that she started the sentence by saying, I'm being empowered because I'm not getting an abortion or rapping about a wet ass pussy. But then she's like, everyone's mad just because I want to cook for my husband. Good housewife and cooking for my husband. And boy, did the left go crazy. Let's read some of the replies. It'd be more empowering if you didn't need to please a man to have any worth. But I digress. Voluntary servitude isn't bad, but expecting it as a basis for respect to women is sh in all cases. Yeah, why does she read tweets that already disprove what she's trying to say? Hey, Bambi got neutered so he has toast around his neck for his cone even in the tweet they say voluntary servitude isn't bad which is her point is that people are mad just because she wants to cook for her husband no they're saying that you're saying the basis for being a respectable woman is just cooking for your husband but not you know wanting rice for your body or rapping about being pleasured by someone <laughs> Because cooking for my husband is totally the same thing as slavery, right? This guy must think it's slavery to wake up every morning because he doesn't want- Did he say it was slavery? What did he say? He didn't even use the word slavery. It'd be more empowering if you didn't need to please a man to have any worth. Me feel empowered? Having a wet- <laughs> And being able to have access to safe, reproductive health while also being an amazing cook and loving every second of nurturing my partner. So take a seat, honey. Get you a girl who does both. So She's not even picking bad replies that are just like, wow, she really just wants to stick to traditional gender roles where she can easily argue with that and be like, it's not a bad thing to cook for your husband. But instead she picks arguments that are just like, hey, it's okay to do both. And then what are you supposed to say to that? Let's find out. So let me get this straight. Having sex makes you feel empowered, but you refuse to respect what your body does as a result of having sex. Okay, this is still the same argument of like, the purpose of sex is to reproduce. And if you have sex, you have to follow through with a pregnancy if you happen to become pregnant. This is why so many people fail to even find a spouse, let alone have a successful marriage, because their relationship is for pleasure and not for loving and supporting one another. And so her argument is that if you get in a relationship, the only reason why should be to have sex to reproduce and, you know, create the perfect family. But no. If you try to, you know, have a pleasurable relationship, then you're in the wrong and you messed up. <laughs> Am I reading this right? Empowered women only get abortions and sing WAP? What? <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. Um, the point of the joke is that you said that they're not empowered if they do that. So someone responded and said, the empowered women only do that, which is making fun of you because you think it's so outlandish and you fell for it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Enjoy staying single for life, I guess, Maddie. Um, I don't know. I don't know uh, what man would love being around a woman who only enjoys spreading her legs and that's all she has to her, but you get it, girl. You don't know any men that would be cool with that? Cool. I, I don't know why she thinks that like all these specific people aren't going to find a relationship or find love because they believe these things that most people believe. These are like statistically most Americans believe in things like pro-choice, the song WAP. I feel like that's a pretty popular thing. But anyways, I caught up on Boo Boo Bennett and she's doing great. I wish her all success with her birth and hopefully she continues to have a successful career in what she does.